Hello and welcome to another episode of Mimosa's How-To Videos with me, Dustin Stock. So today we'll be installing a C5C radio on this roof with a 30 dBi dish and to finish the installation we'll be using our new app. Because we're five miles away from our A5C antenna, we're going to be putting a non-penetrating roof mount here on the peak of this roof with the 30 dBi dish we have over there and we're gonna, we have line of sight to our tower that's over that direction and we've got our guy Eric here, he's doing a site survey test with an MTI, a 24 dBi antenna with the app. We're just testing to make sure how good the signal is going to be at this point. So we're using a Baird non-penetrating roof mount. It's meant for peaks of roofs, so it kind of angles over the peak of the roof, held down with some bricks. This is a two inch diameter pipe that will hold the 30 dBi dish sitting over there. It's about two foot in diameter and it'll sit on top of that non-penetrating roof mount pointing back five miles to uh, Carmel Valley. So now we're going to use the app to configure the radio through the G2 and then we're going to align the dish after that to finish our installation. Now that we're in the app, we're going to go ahead and sign in here. Uh, so my user info is here. Don't look at it. Don't try to steal it. I promise there's nothing interesting on my account. Um, the first box you get popped up is the device may require firmware upgrade. Would you like to download missing firmware? I click no, but you can download the additional firmware. So here in, on the main screen of the app, you have auto unlock, which is only usable if you have a radius server set up. You have manual unlock, which is the normal way where you type in the serial number and unlock your radio. You have configure and update for devices that are already configured and you need to go in and change some settings or you need to go in and aim your device. And then you have firmware download, which is for both the C5 and the G2. So uh, you can download as many firmwares as you want. I usually try to keep the most recent one. That's normally what you should do. So let's go ahead and uh, unlock our radio that we have on the rooftop here. So we'll go ahead and click manual unlock. And you can hit the QR code scanner and scan the box or the radio where it has the QR code. Or you can type it in manually. For this, I'll type mine in manually. And so I've got my unlock code here. We're going to unlock via G2. So I'll hit the G2 button. Uh, this tells you how to hook up your G2 to your C5. And we'll hit next. So it's going to search for your G2 networks here, along with all other 2.4 enabled networks. So just use the wireless information card that came with your G2 to pick out the correct one. Uh, mine is Mimosa424. So I'll go ahead and hit connect and type in the password. And then I'll hit connect. And now we're authenticating to the G2. Device is unlocked. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and get ready to configure the device. It's uh, checking the C5 here now. So uh, once you're in the app, the first thing you should do, if you haven't done it already, is update your radio. Uh, I'm currently on firmware version 241, so I don't have to update it. But you can click here and choose whichever version of firmware you want to upgrade your radio to. Uh, it'll go through the upgrade process just like it would if you were logged into the radio. Uh, it'll upload firmware, then it'll reboot. So we'll go ahead and go to configuration. Uh, we'll click on device settings and we'll name our device. Uh, device name is what you'd like your radio's name to be. Uh, it also is what shows up in the cloud. So just for this, I'll test do test radio. Uh, your latitude and longitude is used for GPS location so you can use your current location if you're where you're installing your C5. Uh, and for C5C only you can enter your antenna gain if you want to you know be legal with FCC. We'll go ahead and hit next. 
Uh, on this screen, you can choose DHCP if you're getting a IP address from the DHCP server, or you can type in a static IP address. For this exercise, I want to type in a static address. Uh, be sure it's IP gateway then subnet. Don't type it in backwards or you won't work. And once I have that info in there, I'll hit next. So on the wireless settings screen, you can either hit the protractor icon to scan for SSIDs, uh, or you can type it in manually. You also can choose auto SRS or Wi-Fi interrupt mode for your APs. Uh, generally, you just want to leave it in auto in case you need to change your AP from one mode to the other. So we'll go ahead and scan for an SSID here. All right, so we have the AP we're looking for, CVAP1. So I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, and as you can see, that shows up in the SSID area. And then we'll go ahead and enter our Wi-Fi password. Also, don't look at that, although it doesn't really matter. Uh, on the next screen here, it's management password. It's the password you need to use to log into your radio. So you can type in whatever you like here, as long as you remember what it is. You can also hit the I button to reveal what you've typed in. And then you can turn on VLANs if you need to do that for management. We'll hit next. As you can see here, you've got check marks next to everything you've filled out. Uh, you can also go back and change any settings if you need to. And once you're done, go ahead and hit save and apply. On the next screen here, it says, Save as configuration preset. So what that means is you can save these settings as a preset, pull them up the next time you set up a C5 or a C5C, apply those settings, and then you just go back and change the IP if you need to, the device name, uh, the coordinates, everything else stays the same. So for this exercise, I'm just going to hit apply. And so now it's going to apply the configuration and then reboot the radio. Okay, so now it's uh, applied successfully, so now we just wait for the device to associate. So now you can see that your, your C5C or C5 is connected. It says connected to then the AP name, and you have the IP address of your radio and the MAC address of your radio. If you need to make any changes, you can click the gear button next to C5 configuration and make any additional changes that you might need. But we're going to go ahead and hit aim C5 so we can finish this installation. So as you can see, we're currently at neg 53 uh, dBm. So with this, you can aim your antenna, and in real time, it will move back and forth. Uh, it'll get worse or better depending on the direction you're facing. It'll also speak to you saying neg 53, so you can put the phone in your pocket or lay it down somewhere where you can listen to it instead of just looking at the screen and trying to aim at the same time. And once you're done, you can hit the back arrow and then finish an install and hit OK, and that's it. So now it's going to kick your phone off and back to your normal LTE network, and you're all set. Setting it up with the app is quick and easy, a couple of minutes. Uh, configuration time and a couple of minutes uh, align time, that's about it.